my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs I want to give a big shout out to all my cappies out there I know that you guys are very shy to comment or feel that you don't really need to comment but it was the third video with the most views so you guys are definitely coming up uh, with the first videos on my channel for this month so thank you guys very much for the love and support know and understand that you don't have to tell me anything I you know I obviously seen you guys had uh, you know the third of the most views so definitely a uh, big love and shout out to all my cappies out there like myself <laughs> so thank you guys very much also if you guys are interested in private consultations or anything to do with um, uh, spell craft, um, spell work, or candle magic, definitely look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. Um, also, I do want to apologize if my voice keeps going in and out. Uh, I may sound a little bit more um, scratchier than usual. <laughs> uh, it's been a very long day, and um, I've just been talking a lot <laughs> with the consultation. So again, I apologize. Also, I want to give a big shout out to my lovely client. I adore this woman. She's an amazing published author. You can find her books on Amazon. She is just um, amazing. I have no words for her. She's a client of mine, but also a very close friend. Uh, she's just amazing. Her name is Diane Morosco. Thank you, sweetheart. Uh, she sent me this for Hollow's Eve. Um, it says Bruja, which in English, uh, it means witch. So thank you very much. I definitely encourage you guys to check out her books, Diane Morosco. So let's get into this reading. Let's see what spirit has for you cappies for the month of November 2017. I did shuffle the deck prior, but I just want to... Spirit guides, what are the messages for Capricorns for the month of November 2017? The Cappies, Cappies, what are the messages for Capricorns for the month of November? Ooh, okay. Okay, so your cards are definitely popping out already. You have the King of Cups here with the Ten of Wands. The page of cups, sorry, the page of wands. The high priestess. The eight of pentacles. Queen of swords. Ooh. The wheel of the year. The six of swords, sorry. Six of pentacles. Wow, two sixes. The five of swords. The ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, wow, Cappies, Five of Wands, the Fool card, the Ten of Swords, let's see what Spirit has as a general energy. All right, so for your general energy, Capricorns, you have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a representation of you looking towards the future. So you guys are very, very self-motivated at the present time. You're not dealing with any more bullshit. You're cutting through the bullshit and you're moving forward. The Three of Wands is also a representation of, again, like I said, having um, goals and trying to achieve goals from a distance. So what that means is if you guys are dealing with a partner that is not currently in the city you live in or in the country that you're in even, uh, it could be, you know, that you're waiting for communication from them. For some of you guys, if you guys have currently had a falling out with someone that was um, someone you cared about or romantically involved, again, there is a message coming through, but it's like you're the one that's anticipating that uh, that communication coming, coming through. Now, for some of you Capricorns, you may be dealing with the water sign as the King of Cups is here. Water sign would be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. For others of you, it may be a swords energy. So it could be a air sign. So it would be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And for others of you, uh, you may I'm pretty much seeing all the signs here. I'm seeing fire, uh, Leo, and I'm also seeing the fool and the five of wands. So it could be um, Aries. Um, so basically, it could be pretty much um, all the elements are here. So I'm not can tap into that but again keep in mind that when I say the king of cups as an example is a water sign it doesn't have to be there's a sun um, 
their sun sign it could be their moon sign it could be their rising or it could just be the attributes and qualities of that of the king of cups okay so keep that in mind so moving on uh the king of pentacles sorry the king of uh water here the king of cups <laughs> next to the ten of swords you guys may have been dealing with this um with this uh, water sign and perhaps they brought a lot of stress or anxiety to you uh, perhaps it was an indecisive energy as i am feeling the king of cups here um, in the reverse position so in the reverse position it could be a person that's very manipulative or it could be a person that is very moody as hell someone that doesn't really know what they want they're very indecisive at the bottom of it is the queen of swords i feel that this is your energy uh capricorn for the month of November. Again, when I see the Queen of Swords here, whether it's your energy or the person you're dealing with, the Queen of Swords, every time it comes up in a reading, it's a symbolization of you cutting through the bullshit. It's a person that could smell bullshit a mile away. And at this point, you're very strong minded, you're very strong tempered, and you're not going to be dealing with that. So again, I feel that this is your energy for the month of November. So you're taking on this quality of the Queen of Swords, which is a person that is very smart, very articulate, but also a person that, again, like I said, could see through falsehood. Um, so I feel that you guys are taking on those qualities for the month of November. It could represent you cutting out people, family, relatives, friends, people that no longer um, are helping you grow and they're actually keeping you or tying you. Uh, from self-growth so I feel that you guys are definitely putting a lot of endings as you do have the ten of wands here and the ten of swords down here so for some of you guys that recently pulled away from a water sign um, there's a message coming through as the page is being reflected here with the page of wands and the high priestess is next to it so there's a message coming through but it's almost like you're expecting it again with the three of wands down here uh, you're definitely expecting that communication or that message coming through. And you kind of know that the Eight of Pentacles is mirroring the High Priestess. So it's like you know what you need to do in regards to this relationship or this person you've been dealing with. That is that of a water sign or, again, like I said, a uh, very indecisive type of energy. Uh, you're no longer going to put... Um, you're not no longer going to prove yourself to this person or put effort towards that it's almost like the high priestess is all about the all-knowing but also the hidden and it's like listening to your intuition and at this present time you're very assertive when it comes to your person you know what you bring to the table and you're not going to settle for anything less than what you want uh the eight of pentacles again it's like you're expecting them to put the effort perhaps in the past it was you the one that was trying very hard to make this relationship work and the reason i say that is because under the eight of pentacles is the six of pentacles the six of pentacles is the charity card but it can also represent uh, being taken advantage or you being the one to put too much effort into the relationship when the other person is just sitting back chilling okay so um next to uh, you have two sixes here so two sixes is a representation of growth but it's also self-growth so it's like if you guys have felt capricorns if you guys have felt insecure if you felt like um you're not comfortable in your own skin all of that's going to be changing by the second week of november you're going to start owning that type of energy that you bring into the universe which is that of structure which is that of you know high regard which is that of knowing that you like good things in life but you also bust your ass to get them so it's like no one gives you anything you guys are ruled by saturn and saturn is a very you know the most strict planet basically um so it's like everything you have or everything you're going to get it has obviously came from your hard work your own sweat and tears um so again it's almost like you're coming to that realization of knowing exactly what it is that you want and who you are now in regards to business and finances if you guys have been dealing with a water sign that is a superior it could be a both male or female it doesn't have to be a male and you feel that they've been stressing you out because of their behavior because you feel like there's a hidden agenda behind that again with the eight of pentacles put your nose to the grindstone and focus on your work do not worry about how they're perceiving you or how they're seeing you because the six of pentacles is a charity card it's definitely going to give you the benefit you bust your ass and you're definitely going to see results plain and simple 
Uh, the Six of Swords here is, again, like I said, a lot of growth coming for you Capricorns, but also being able to move on from stagnant energy or energy that was very turbulent to something that is more in harmony with yourself at the present time. You do have the Wheel of Fortune here, and the Wheel of Fortune promises you good fortune in regards to finances. The reason I say that is because right under the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is nothing but uh, stability and finances. Uh, so again, uh, if you guys have been in the past struggling money-wise, which, you know, I know Cappies are very good when it comes to business and finances, and I know that you guys are very self-reliant. If money's not coming in in regards to business, then you will do what you have to do on the site to make that money come in. So again, um, but anyways, if you've been going out of your way to make that money, again, like I said, with the Wheel of Fortune here, there's a promise for abundance and self-growth uh, as the 10 is mirroring the other 10, which is two 10s here, 10 of Pentacles and 10 of Cups. So it's family uh, being being in balance with family and, or within the family dynamic in the household. So what I mean by that is, again, so what I mean by that is, again, uh, you have two tens here, three tens, sorry. You have, oof, uh, I'm way off. It's not three tens, it's actually four tens. Um, you have the ten of wands, the ten of pentacles, the ten of cups, and the ten of swords. Uh, my darling Capricorns, this is a major transformation for you guys. I feel that November is going to be extremely uh, pivotal for you guys, okay? You guys are definitely ending karmatic cycles. You guys are definitely ending what no longer serves you, leaving it behind and moving forward. If you've been struggling, none of that shit's going to be present uh, for the coming months, meaning going into November, December, January, and February uh, is what I'm hearing. So again, there's major transformations coming for you, Capricorns. If you guys have been busting your ass, working really hard uh, for your own business, you're definitely going to see the fruits of your labor coming through, okay? I definitely see a lot of endings. So for some of you guys, it's ending with relationships because they no longer serve you, because you've outgrown them, because they no longer help you in getting to where you're going. So again, I definitely do see endings, unfortunately, but I do see many, many blessings for you guys coming in. Um, again, like I said, from November all the way to February. So for some of you guys, if you guys have been investing or putting effort towards your kids, if you're kids have been going to college if you've been paying for that if there's been a strain of you putting effort towards giving them that stability you've been wanting you're definitely going to be living that abundance um and returning to you tenfold the reason i say that is because the six of pentacles could be a representation of children as well and the ten down here is the ten of cups so it's the family dynamic uh you're finally going to be able to see your kids grow into their own person or actually have success in the business that they're following or the career that they've been pursuing. Now, you do have the five of wands for those of you guys that are married Capricorns. Be very careful not to step out of the relationship. The reason I say that is because you do have the five of swords and the five of wands here. So fives is a very um, chaotic type of energy, but it could also be a representation of inner struggle. Either you not being emotionally fulfilled in regards to your relationship or they are no longer sexually satisfying you in regards to your relationship. So again, be very careful. My suggestion is I do see a lot of endings here, but I also see new beginnings. So don't fear if it's just not working out and you've been the one to put so much effort into the relationship. It's time for you to love yourself and love yourself enough to walk away from what is toxic, what is not helping you. Um, again, with the Ten of Swords here, there's an ending coming through. But once this ending comes through, there's a new beginning, Capricorn, as you do have the full card here. I am extremely uh, happy for you, Capricorns, as I do see abundance. I do see opportunities for new relationships, even um, as the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of cups the ten of swords and the full card it's like you're you're bringing in that manifestation but you're also being able to or, or universe is also giving you a new opportunity to to start something new 
after the ending or the release of what no longer serves you Capricorn okay so I hope this reading makes uh, sense to you guys I hope it resonates light and love to all of you guys I wish you guys the very best for this month and we'll see each other in the middle of the month of November